So hey there. We are doing something a little bit different today. Um, Kim was sort of demanding we exercise and go to the gym. And I talked her out of it. So we're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna go, we're gonna drive up to Nathan area. She wanted to go walk in Lamai, and we've already walked in Lamai, but we haven't walked in Nathan. So we're gonna go up there. She's excited because we might turn it into a, a shopping walking opportunity where she can poke through some shops <laughs> and we can sort of say that's exercise. We'll see about that. And then we're gonna eat at a place we haven't eaten at up there. So that's what we're gonna do. And right now I'm just gonna turn the camera around because I just wanna show you some nice clouds up on the mountains. So some really big puffy clouds. Kim usually says when the clouds are right there, that's a good sign of rain. Uh, I'm gonna say it's not gonna rain, but we'll see how that goes. That's it? Right, Kim? Yep. All right, we'll uh, see you on our walk. So we're up here in Nathan. I'll put a map right there to show you where we are. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk north up that sidewalk over there. And we're gonna probably walk a mile. And then on the inside, there's a road with like shops and restaurants and stuff like that. And that's what we'll be, well, the way we'll be heading back to where we're starting, but you can see how nice it is here today. Even the water's clear. I don't know if you can see it, but pretty nice. See you in a bit. There's our favorite restaurant right there. You can see the sign. Bon Som Tom Restaurant. Bon Som Tom stands for House of Pie Salad. If you're ever up here, you have to give that place a try. You can see it's just south of the pier. Never noticed this before, but it looks like they actually just added this sand. So now there's a beach here, but I am not sure this beach is always here. I think they just added it. So not really sure, but look at all the fishing boats are in. Out there, I don't know if you can see it, um, is the National Park. I think it's the National Marine Park, pretty cool. And the pier right there. And Along the street here, they have uh, fresh seafood. You just pop over here and buy some fresh fish, fresh crab, fresh shrimp. So this is available in lots of the small towns around here, fresh markets. And again, there's the fishing boats that they probably came off of sometime this morning. So these planters, seem to defeat the purpose of having a sidewalk. But my guess is the trees were here before the sidewalk. Look at the size of this tree right here. Can't see them bringing these in and eating up the sidewalk space, but who knows. So you can't tell right now, but this whole area is actually full of food vendors in the evenings. And I actually think it's full of food vendors every single evening, meaning every time we've ever come up here, this place has had food vendors and the food was good, right, Kim? Yeah, yeah, very good. Um, place that a, a lot of ties frequent, so the prices were really good. And in case you're wondering, this is right at the end of the pier. So there's the pier right there. Just to give you an idea where this is, and I would say it's worth popping by this way, especially in the evenings. Give it a try, let us know what you think. 
It looks like that area right there is where ticketing takes place. Also looks like they have a money exchange. And then out here is, it looks like where the ferries arrive. Um, I don't know if there's two ferry companies here or not. So we'll have to research that. And uh, as we learn it, we'll let you know. But that's C-Tran over there for sure. And the sign on this side was Lompria. So maybe there are two, two ferry companies here. They said, we don't know yet. So we walked all the way out to the end of the pier, as you can see behind me. So that's the shore back there. So there's a few people fishing out here. Over there. But other than that, not a lot going on. Pretty quiet, but pretty nice. So I am sure this is one of the first photos that a lot of people have taken when they arrive at Koh Samui. So we're here at Nathan Pier. Um, we're the only people here at Nathan Pier, but we had to stop for a photo opportunity as well. So there's something you don't see every day. A barber and a bistro. Same place with a Harley Davidson sign on the door. And it looks like Kim and I have just run across the Samui Love Station. Check it out. Who would have thought there'd be a love station here? What are you doing? You're a tie and you're really tiny and you get up on here to kiss the guy. I don't get it. Kim really wanted to go to the gym this morning. Oh my God. So I brought her to the gym. Ugh. And I do not see her getting very active on these things. Why not, Kim? I thought working out was important to you. Yeah. That's it? Just us walking down the street in the sun. It might only be 85 degrees out Fahrenheit. It's not the most humid day, but when we're out in the sun, it's pretty warm, huh, Kim? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes when you're out walking, you just see things. So there's a drain right there, water drain. And there's one over on that side of the road. But look at how many other drains they are, have. They just have PVC pipe through the concrete down into the, to the main pipe. So it just gives you an idea of how much rain they get here because even these, all this drainage doesn't even stand a chance keeping up with how much rain they get. So we've been out walking and there's a restaurant right there behind me. And that restaurant is right at the end of the pier road. So if you were to go down that road right there, that's exactly where the pier is. So we came back out. So this is the corner of the pier road and ring road. And you can see it's right across the street from the Samui district offices right there. And there's the Koh Samui district office right behind me. So we're heading in.